Hello, my name is Tim Spector. I'm Professor of Genetics at King's College London and co-founder of Map My Gut Limited, a microbiome testing company. And we're working together with Allergy Free From Conference to tell you a bit more about gut health and what is the microbiome. Now, microbes are key to all our lives and we're only finding this out in the last few years. Our main reservoir of gut microbes is in our lower intestines, the colon, which contains about 100 trillion of these bugs, about the same number of cells in our own body. And it's like we've discovered a whole new organ in our bodies that we're only just realizing how important it is. But this organ not only controls how we digest food, but it's important for our brain development, it's critical for our immune system, and it also sends chemicals and signals to the other parts of our body, like our brain, telling us to be happy or sad, or when we're full, or um, we should eat more. Now, we can now understand these microbes because we can measure them genetically. And we do this by genetic testing of a poo sample that gives everybody a reading of where their microbes are compared to other people. And it turns out we're all pretty unique unlike our DNA. Now, why is this important for allergy? Along with many other common conditions like diabetes and obesity that are going through epidemics, the ep allergy epidemic is definitely real. And the first case report was only in 1969, so we're seeing an explosion of these problems which are likely related to the change in our gut microbes over that same time period. In the same 30 or 40 years, we've lost much of the diversity of our gut microbes. And many of these species were previously protective in helping us suppress our immune systems, stopping us reacting to proteins in our foods or environments or in the trees. And suddenly they're not there anymore to help us. And this is why we think uh, the gut health is so intimately related to allergies in ways that haven't been thought of before or haven't been able to measure before. So we know that by changing the amount of fibre in our diet, we can also change the diversity in our gut microbes, improving it, and so by improving it, give us more beneficial microbes that will themselves suppress a lot of the allergies and immune problems that many of us have today. Now, this research is new and we're still discovering things as we're going on but more and more people are getting tested and the importance is that there are a number of tests people go through for allergy and these include blood pressure blood tests for proteins skin prick testing for working out what allergies you have uh, as well as dna tests but it's looking like the gut microbiome could be one of those general global test that is going to be a regular part of everyone's workup for allergies and good health. So we'll be at this conference uh, with you and do come and come to our stand, learn more about getting your gut microbes tested, talking to us and going through this journey of discovery to learn much more about everybody's gut microbes, including your own. Thank you for listening.